New boy alert! My name's Teddy Briggs, I'm 25 years old. People often underestimate my intelligence because I'm so pretty. From reality television star... I know it seems too good to be true, but I'm real. ...to self-proclaimed business mogul. What's up, guys? Day in the life of an econ boy in Dubai. Here's me getting into a Ferrari we rented. Teddy Briggs made his name on Love Island. Yeah, all right, of course, a bit of drama. He claims on social life. media he's since earned big money running online stores and says he can help others do the same through his business, Ecom Connect. Do it the smart way. At Ecom Connect, we build the whole business for you, guaranteed to work, start making sales day one. Ecom is short for e commerce, which means buying and selling goods online. It's a booming industry worth billions of dollars. Teddy promotes a retail method called dropshipping. It is really what we call a retail fulfillment method, whereby um, an online store might get an order from the consumers. Um, and what the online store, the online uh, retailer do is actually contact an external party, um, usually a wholesaler or a manufacturer, um, to actually ship the product or services to the consumer directly. We literally build the entire business for you, done, dusted, ready to go. To Teddy the markets Ecom Connect to his quarter of a million followers on social media. One of them was Yeri Guy. He advertised a fully optimised, high-level e-commerce store um, with one-on-one -on -one support, with a researched, guaranteed winning product, um, with 10 to 15K profits. So that was going to save us like six months worth of work to pay somebody to do that for us. Yeri and her business partner signed a contract with Teddy early last year. They paid him $10,000. Here's just the bank details to get started, legend. Super. We'll transfer tonight. Super keen to smash it together. We are super excited. The site went live last March. It sold these lights. The store was abysmal. It was bad grammar bad like, language, spelling errors throughout it, there was no currency converter, there was no terms and conditions, no shipping information. We were expecting to make between ten dollars to $15,000 a month. It would have been in a negative because the costs involved in the advertising campaign far outweighed any profit. After running the store for almost three months, Yeri asked for a refund, but didn't get her money back. Teddy Briggs says Ecom Connect will keep rebuilding sites until clients are successful. If it doesn't work, so we build you the business and you don't make money from it, we literally rebuild it for you for free until it works. Yes! Hell yeah! So you literally cannot lose out. If I had paid somebody to build a house for me and when I picked up the keys on handover day, the house was half built with cracks falling down, and then I asked for a refund and they said, no, 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 but I'll rebuild it for you. Why on earth would I ever trust that person to ever rebuild me a house? I just wouldn't. I would be just seeking my refund. While Yeri asked for her money back, Teddy signed more clients. So I was following him on Instagram. Paulina Yagatanate invested thousands of dollars and was also left in the red. I think that not even worth hundreds of dollars what he provided. And at least I would appreciate if he would get back to me because when I've sent him a message saying that it's not working for me and I want to get a refund back, he didn't even reply. What impact has this had on you, Paulina? So it made me very sad and depressed. Now I um, end up like owning this $5,000 for my brother because I have to give this money back for him. And, just trying to figure it out. <laughs> I know it's my fault because, you know, I, I knew the risks. There was not 100% not, not guaranteed. I wasn't 100% guaranteed it's going to work, but I had lots of faith in it. Paulina and Yeri took down their websites because they weren't making any money. But we found almost 40 other online stores linked to the same Perth address as Ecom Connect. You can see that the products are different, but the websites are similar. In some cases, including reviews by the same people. 
these websites are quite an okay design website. Um, however, um, they do um, really follow a simple template. Creating a template um, or creating a template with um, e-commerce would probably um, take you know, two or three days um, or um, if uh, maximum two or three weeks, and by duplicating them um, wouldn't take too much time and effort. E-commerce is flourishing, and with it, an industry of influencers promoting their services to help others get rich quick. Dr Billy Sung says it's not that easy. In the business landscape, um, anything that is too good to be true is probably too good to be true. Not all online businesses um, are successful. In fact, there are statistics that shows that one in three businesses um, that um, focuses online or on the internet um, failed in the first 12 to 24 months. We've spoken to 13 people who each spent thousands of dollars on Teddy Briggs's product. One was a single mum whose website was removed because it was a copy of an existing online store. She spent $20,000 and despite requests for a refund from her lawyer, she hasn't got her money back. Someone please help me. There has to be an exception on compassionate grounds. We do not provide refunds because we have already incurred expenses in delivering businesses and ads. At Ecom Connect, we literally build the entire business for you, done, dusted, ready to go. Teddy Briggs did not agree to be interviewed by 7.30, but his lawyer told us that Teddy had never promised to any of his customers that the business they were paying him for would be an immediate financial success. Yeri Guy has reported him to the ACCC for misleading advertising. The watchdog told 7.30 it doesn't comment on potential investigations, but said people should be aware of services that guarantee high income for minimal effort. I don't want to see people that literally are giving everything they've got in the bank to, in hope of, of this working. I don't want to see that happen. It upsets me really emotionally upsets me to think about people going through what we've been through.